What's up guys and happy new year. So I've never done a video like this. You guys have asked me for like a worst and best food challenges, but this is going to be something different. This is some of my favorite moments in competitive eating in no particular order. Let's get right into it. Zark's burger challenge. So this one's special to me because it's the first time I got to eat with the Filipino eaters in the Philippines. And I also broke the record for the Zark's burger challenge fastest time. All right. Let's get right into it. Alright, next up is the biggest food challenge I've ever attempted and it was with my good buddy Carmen Sincati, the 36 inch 5 topping pizza at Champs Pizza that has been controversial for some other eaters because of uh, making it extra big for them. But yeah, this one was very tough, struggled the whole way, and there might have been a reversal and a swallow. But it was very memorable, and me and Carmen ended up winning $1,000, so that was pretty epic. And it was the first time I did a food challenge with Carmen Sincati. Carmen Sincati was one of the best competitive eaters in the world, um, and yeah, but now he's retired. So here it is. Check it out. Alright, so one of the most unique eating contests I've ever done is the Balut Eating Contest. Now, if you guys don't know what Balut is, it's a fertilized duck egg. And yeah, a little, a little interesting. So I've never eaten Balut, but uh, there's always a first for everything. And I went into that contest thinking I'm either going to puke or I'm going to win. Now, I ended up winning that contest. What makes this one so memorable is that... I got so much notoriety for it. So I was in my local newspapers in America um, and I was in the news in Philippines as well, as well as their newspapers. So I was, uh, I went international with that one. That was pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> anyways, on to the video. Three, two, one. So this challenge is in Virginia. I went to visit Darren Eats and there was a pancake challenge. And to make it more interesting, I had told the waitress that she was gonna give me her number if I finished. And cause she didn't think I could finish. So I got that number. <laughs> Check it out guys. What's up everyone? Welcome to another, I don't know, but I'm going on a road trip with Macho. Ah! We are headed to Virginia to see Darren Eats! Uh, yeah. 
do people usually fail? Yeah, every time. Every time. They get through like one big egg in their So if I finish, the waitress said she'd give me her number. This is awesome. Yeah. It's more incentive. Um, but you finish the challenge, not give you my number. Oh. Damn, I got no, 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 no. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are we ready to give a? Virginia is for love. You want to give me a three no. to one? <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yeah. One, yeah. two, three. Alright, time started. Get him, coach! Ooh, hi, hi. Take it easy now. All right, guys, so this next contest is pretty special to me. Uh, it was on the 4th of July, and I was out in California. Unfortunately, I wasn't there for any good reason. My godfather had passed away. But uh, I decided to join a hot dog contest last minute uh, just to help pay for some of the expenses. Now what made this contest really special was I had all my friends and family come out and support me which was really awesome and I got to meet fellow competitive eater John Bello for the first time. And he was a true gentleman in that contest where I was running low on water and he noticed and he actually passed me a bottle of water and that really meant a lot because we're fighting for money at this point. you know that. That just shows his character as a person, which was really awesome. Uh, so I was glad to meet him, have the support of my friends and family, and get that win for Uncle. So I am doing my first contest on the West Coast. Uh, I know I'm going to be eating against John Bello, a fellow, fellow Filipino competitive eater. So I never got to do that, which is cool. Uh, we got to meet for the first time yesterday. Really great guy. Okay guys, probably one of the most epic moments in my competitive eating career. My first Guinness World Record. Well, my only Guinness World Record. Now, I had done this contest the year before, tried to get the Guinness World Record for the Carolina Reaper, hottest pepper in the world. I did not succeed and I came back the next year knowing what I had to do to get that win. Now, I got that win, but it absolutely hurt. When I was in the bathroom after eating the Reapers, I was totally puking. <laughs> I was told by someone, you did great, bro, but I'm pretty sure the person after you ate more than you. And I was just crushed at that point. And so time passes on. All the contestants finish, and they're calling out the top three eaters. Now, I made it to the top three, and I was like, okay. Uh, I wasn't number three. I wasn't number two, and I get called up for the win and I was shocked because I honestly thought I lost because of what the person had said to me and it was just a very surreal moment for me because it was so awesome to win but at the same time I hurt so bad that <clears throat> I couldn't really stand up properly <laughs> my stomach was just just in so much pain from, from cramping and whatnot so yeah actually uh, after I was given the award, I took a few pictures and I, I actually went right back to the bathroom because 
I just needed to relax because I, I still wasn't up to <laughs> standing around and taking pictures with people. Anyways, guys, here's the video. Ready? I'm ready. Okay, I might go. Okay, this next one is pretty hilarious. It's with my good friend Notorious B.O.B. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. So we had done a meatball contest where we won a party bus and a $400 gift card. So we actually decided to try to eat $400 worth of food from the meatball shop. <laughs> and what makes this so memorable is that we did it during the summer and we ate outdoors with the beating sun hitting down on us and I just felt absolutely miserable and I know he did as well. There was so much food we couldn't finish and yeah, it was just something I'll never forget. Uh, but it was a good time with Bob because he, he's a great guy. So be sure to check out his channel. Anyways, here's the video. All right guys, I am here at the meatball shop at the Lower East Side location. I'm like a, a a little pig, suckling pig that's being cooked itself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I bet I could tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What kind of balls do we have here? All right. So my next moment is probably my favorite, tastiest, and best food challenge. Now this one is pretty cool because it's the first time I got to meet Reina Huang and it is one of my favorite challenges because it was just so damn good. Um, it was a barbecue challenge at the Smoking Ribs in California. Now what makes this awesome is that I not only met Reina Huang, I met two of my fans who are now my friends and they were freaking awesome and I got a $100 gift card, $100 and my picture on the wall. So it was an awesome day all together. And yeah, here it is. There is Reina filming. Hi! Nice to meet you. Oh, oh, that was a great greeting. Oh my god. Nice to meet you. <laughs> What's up, brother? Give me a hug. Oh. Get in. Oh. Nice to meet you. What's up, man? So, this is Kate and Jonathan. Hey. They came out to, to meet me for the first time, which is freaking awesome. Three, two, one. We're starting. All right, good luck, guys. Thank you. All right, guys. So the next one is the third annual Mac Shack eating contest. Now I had done it the year before with my friend Pat, but because we were so fast, the owner had decided to make it a team challenge against me. Uh, so I was up against a few teams, uh, and yeah, it was a rough one, and it came down to the wire. But the team that was neck and neck with me just had a reversal of faith, <laughs> securing the win for me. So, yeah, that was pretty memorable in my head. And here it is, guys. The rules are different this year. It's still teams. I don't have a partner. Three! Uh, uh. Yeah. One! Go! Oh, 
This one is definitely in the top three moments of competitive eating for me. Wing Bowl 25. Now, Wing Bowl is the craziest wing eating competition ever. It is the Super Bowl of competitive eating for wings, for in my opinion. Now, it's held in Philadelphia once a year. Unfortunately, they no longer do it, but wow, what an experience. There was strippers. <laughs> that they call wingettes and they walk around a bunch of them flash their boobs um the contest is held at seven in the morning and from what i was told it is the most beer sold at any event uh in that in that stadium and this is a now this contest is held in a professional stadium for sports um I forget the wells fargo center uh i might be wrong but anyways <laughs> Yeah, it's just a shit show. Now, uh, I was invited to do this contest. Uh, I got in as a outside eater. That was a theme this year. So I was the representative for New York. I had actually tried to compete. I You actually have to qualify to get into this contest. And I tried to do that where I did a wing eating contest at a strip club in, Phil in Philadelphia uh, a month before. But they had cheated me out of the win because I was this no name and they wanted to give the win to one of their regulars. So, but I end up getting in the other way. Now, I don't have any videos of this, but I do have pictures. And what was also awesome about this event, Weston's playing with his chew toy. So, what was also awesome about this event is I made really good friends with the other outside eaters like Texas and Chicago and my friends came out to support me and it was just the craziest experience ever that i've ever had for an eating contest imagine being in a, a professional sports stadium eating in front of ten thousand people and everyone's just drunk and it was just so surreal so here are some pictures of that event uh as a new york representative i was i was cursed at and it was just hilarious to me but here are some pictures of that event sorry no footage guys i definitely saved the funniest moment for last and this one was with my good friend randy santel a few of you probably have seen this already but anyways so randy was invited to new york by the new york times to do a food challenge and he was so kind enough as to invite me to do this challenge now what made this challenge hilarious was that I stole a french fry from his food challenge while we were eating and you could just see his reaction <laughs> he, he wasn't too pleased about it uh, I made sure to ask the owner that if I had done that uh, that we wouldn't be disqualified this is definitely one of my favorite moments in competitive eating because I just found it so hilarious anyways here it is guys and I hope you enjoyed some of my favorite moments of competitive eating. Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas with Atlas Induced Promotion, the proud owner of Food.